Welcome back to the embedded system video lecture series. This is lecture number 10. So in the previous lecture, I have covered stack operation. So there uh, we have seen the push and pop operation correspondingly how they are used. And also we have gone through two stack memory model where MSP and PSP values can be uh, altered or retrieved with an alternative instruction to push and pop operation with the help of control register. In today's discussion, I will be covering reset sequence. So usually the reset, reset means from the beginning or from the default condition. So whenever you uh, reset your mobile or a device, so previous data will be erased only system uh, application which can run only those applications will be there so how the processor will come to know that only those applications should run so they will be having certain address say for example uh, if you take in general sense once you get up after the sleep it is like a, a reset so morning if you have a habit or uh, fixed duration or fixed uh, habit of jog, running means before running brushing like that so it is like your default thing so for brushing up you need to go to the washroom that is like a washroom is like a address and to have a running in the morning jogging so you will be having certain ground that ground will be like a one address so if this is your daily routine so then you will be having that those areas as a particular address to perform the particular task similarly in cortex m3 the starting value of the stack pointer at reset or r13 register will be 0 0 it is 8 times zeros okay and if you take the reset vector that is exceptional mm -hmm. handler reset the reset value is 4 <clears throat> so in this case why this reset is uh, value is 4 because the 4 if you write it the 4 if you write it in binary this 4 if you write it in binary so it is nothing but what now 1000 correct so this lsb least significant byte now it is not bit okay it should be set to 1 to indicate the thumb state so as i told you earlier while discussing the uh, special register t flag that is thumb state will be 1 after reset okay now this is the sequence once it is once the processor is reset first it will read the sp value as 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then it will fetch the reset vector address from the location 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 4 then the next instructions by the user so till here it is processor and after this the user instructions will be executed one by one this is the reset sequence so in uh, initial value of the msp is put at the beginning of the memory map followed by the vector table which contains the vector address values the vector table can be relocated to another location later during the program execution so what is this vector table we shall see later so since we have the stack operation the cortex m3 is a fully descending step as we have seen in the previous video the initial sp value should be set to first memory after the top of the stack region so for example if you have the stack memory uh, range from 0x to triple zero 7c002 what we have is 0x 2 triple 0 
seven triple f. So, what should be the initial value of the sp? What is the next value of this? If you add one to this, it will become what now? Zero. This will become zero, zero, and eight. So, initially, sp should be pointing here. If this is the range, so this is how it is reset. Then it will decrement for every push operation. For every pop operation, it will increment. Okay, that is called as descending stack. It the value is going to change from higher value to the lower value for every push operation. For every pop operation, it will be increasing. Okay, so the vector table start initial value of this p. The first vector is reset vector. Then, as I told earlier, least significant byte should be one to indicate the thumb code. Okay, so if you consider this figure clearly, you can check out here initial value sp. Initial sp value is two triple zero followed by eight triple zero. So this is the memory location. So the memory location meant for stack pointer is from two triple zero seven c double zero two two triple zero eight thousand. So then it comes the other memory then we have the flash memory so then other memory so this is the initial stack pointer value and initial program counter value after reset okay so now uh, after this uh, so we come across these kind of things in the reset so that is all about the reset sequence thank you